What's up, everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we'll be talking about best upcoming movies. Daniel Craig's final James Bond movie, No Time to Die, has been delayed again, with the film now slated to hit theaters in October 2021. Craig took over the role of 007 in 2006 with the release of Casino Royale and reprised the role of the elite spy in three sequels. He announced sometime after Spectre's release that he would return to the role once more, and a lengthy director search eventually brought Kerry Joji Fukunaga aboard to helm No Time to Die. The coronavirus pandemic forced the studios to delay No Time to Die multiple times before landing on an April 2021 release date. While there was hope that this would finally be when the movie is released, the pandemic has once again forced another delay. The official James Bond Twitter account confirmed the news today that No Time to Die has been pushed to October 2021. The most recent release date was April 2, 2021, but now MGM and Eon have once again decided to delay the release. No Time to Die's new release date is October 8, 2021. The Tomorrow War looks set to make the move to a streaming service as Variety is reporting that Amazon Prime Video is currently winning a bidding war to acquire The Tomorrow War for a whopping $200 million. The movie, which stars Chris Pratt in lead role, scored well at test screenings, and it's been screened to each of the major streamers including Netflix and Apple TV+. With an impressive cast, it's no wonder such a big number is being quoted. For now, it's still scheduled for a July 23rd theatrical release. Thanks to some behind-the-scenes photos of the Spider-Man 3 set, it's been revealed that the upcoming sequel to Spider-Man Far From Home will be set during the holidays. The set pictures that surfaced show the upcoming movie's leads, Tom Holland and Zendaya, on a set covered in snow. Not only that, but one of the buildings on the set even has the words Merry Christmas painted in the window. All these small details point towards Spider-Man 3 being a Christmas movie. Fans have also picked up on a naming convention of the Spider-Man 3 franchise that the new movie will likely follow as well. All of these Spider-Man movies have the word home in the subtitle. Given this rule, there are a few possible titles that Spider-Man 3 might have. One of the potential titles would be Spider-Man No Place Like Home. The phrase No Place Like Home fits in well with the naming conventions of the Spider-Man franchise. While a more unlikely choice, there's also a possibility of a Spider-Man Home Alone title. Home Alone is one of the most beloved Christmas movies of all time, so it would make sense for this Spider-Man Christmas movie to pay homage to it. Even if this isn't the chosen title, it wouldn't be surprising to see some sort of reference to Home Alone and Spider-Man 3, especially since Home Alone 2 and Spider-Man both take place in New York City. If Spider-Man 3 really is a Christmas movie, it will be all about Peter Parker coming home, reconnecting with his loved ones, and learning how to believe in himself. Chris Hemsworth announced on his Instagram that he would begin filming Thor Love and Thunder later this week. First though, the actor is taking a vacation with his family, as seen in the pictures posted to his account. The movie is set to release on May 6, 2022. Sony Pictures revealed it's pushing back some of its movies that had already been delayed, including Ghostbusters, Afterlife, and Uncharted. Ghostbusters Afterlife is shifting from a June 11, 2021 release to November 11, 2021, while Uncharted, which was previously set for July 16, 2021, is now slotted for February 11, 2022. Those of you looking forward to Sony's live-action Cinderella adaptation will have to wait until July 16, 2021 for its arrival, rather than catching it on February 5th. Finally, Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaway has left behind its previous Easter weekend release and has taken Afterlife's old June 11th slot. A new Halloween Kills image shows Michael Myers escaping the fire at Laurie Strode's house. Halloween Kills is slated to be released in October of this year after being delayed because of the coronavirus pandemic. Halloween was praised for its ability to breathe new life into the Michael Myers saga, but the end of the 2018 film saw Michael in a precarious position. Teaming up with her daughter and granddaughter, Lori trapped Michael in her basement and lit her house on fire. A new image exclusively revealed by Empire shows Michael escaping from the fire. He stands in the doorway of the burning home, weapon in hand, as the fire rages around him. The ominous picture confirms that the film will pick up directly where 2018's film left off. According to a new report, Paramount refused to sell their highly anticipated Top Gun Maverick to any streaming services. Tom Cruise is set to return to the iconic role of Pete Maverick Mitchell in the sequel to his 1986 film Top Gun. 
Though audiences are eager to see Pete's latest high-flying adventures, Top Gun Maverick has become one of the movies struggling to gain a foothold against the pandemic. Top Gun Maverick was once scheduled for release in June 2020, but the pandemic bumped it to December, then again to July of this year. However, audiences shouldn't expect Top Gun Maverick to join the likes of Mulan and Wonder Woman 1984. Streaming services like Netflix and Apple TV Plus were curious to see if Paramount would be willing to sell Top Gun Maverick. However, sources say the studio wouldn't even consider it because of the strong box office earnings Maverick is expected to bring in. Chris Hemsworth's action thriller film Extraction 2 is set to start filming this fall. The film is a sequel to the 2020 Netflix hit, which became the streamer's most watched original movie ever. Directed by Sam Hargrave and produced by Joe and Anthony Russo, Extraction starred Hemsworth as Tyler Rake, a mercenary and former army veteran who is tasked with traveling to Bangladesh to protect the son of a crime lord from his father's rival. Now, in an interview with Collider, Hargrave, who is also returning to direct, gives an update on the production schedule for Extraction 2. Hargrave explains that Russo is still working on the script and that the sequel is set to start filming in the fall as long as it does not face any delays. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.